I know a guy who consistently cares for others. He welcomes children, respects the elderly, helps the poor. He comforts the sick and encourages prisoners. He prays for haters. He even flags strangers to alert them when their car tires are flat. Why does he do these things? because he has been so filled with God's love that the same love flows out of him toward others. The book of Romans is clear. We are not accepted by God because of the things we do, but because of what Jesus has done. We can't do anything to earn God's love because it's already offered to us. And it's only after this love transforms our hearts that we can begin to live differently. In Romans 2, 7 through 8, the author describes people who have been rescued by God and people who haven't. Those who are rescued patiently do what is right. Those who are not yet rescued by God seek only what is best for themselves. Although I thought my friend was ridiculous for flagging people down to warn them about a flat tire, I now see how the love of God developed within him a true concern for others, a concern that I want God to develop in me too. Those of us who are rescued by God will still have moments of selfishness, but the more God's love transforms our hearts, the more we can develop a genuine concern for others. Ask God to fill you with his love today and give you opportunities to show that love to someone else. After all, it's only through the enabling of the Holy Spirit that we can patiently do what is right.